He only likes her because she's old. She's probably like 25! Okay, so since it is now September 18th, or at least it will be when I post this video, it's time for my annual birthday self-portrait. I started this two years ago because I made a sort of birthday photo slash illustration where I painted myself in the mirror, and that became sort of an annual tradition for me because I really loved it. It became my profile picture on pretty much all social media. I still use it, and I haven't replaced it yet, mainly because I don't think I've made one that I think is as cute as that one. Last year's was also a pretty valiant effort. I ended up drawing myself with who I like to call my skeleton son, Vincent, and it was sort of supposed to be a historical painting. There's a video of it on here too. But this year I've been a bit exhausted and so I decided instead of going all out that I would just focus on my sketchbook because it's been a while since I've been able to really sit down and just draw in my sketchbook, no worries. Because I wanted to take it easy, I ended up making the first page just in gel pen and then the second page that I'm working on right now in Copic marker. I don't usually take that many pictures of myself and I haven't really been to an event in any recent time that would require me to have photos of myself. So these pictures are usually either pictures that I've taken in reference for another drawing that I'm doing and I ended up using myself as a reference and I sent it to myself on my phone or it's from a costume uh, to be more specific last year's Halloween costume one of the main goals of me doing an annual birthday drawing is to just get used to drawing myself I'm pretty used to doing portraits I love doing portraits but they're usually portraits of other people and when it's a painting of yourself you can either get stuck with it not necessarily looking exactly like you or not looking like your exact perception of yourself. And I can never tell if I'm just hard to draw because it's a drawing of myself or because I have very specific features. And if I get like one thing wrong, it just doesn't look like me at all. A great example of this is this drawing that I'm doing now. I ended up adding in some drawings that I had done previously on my iPad. And one of them is this picture of me from when I was three or four that my grandma has framed in her house. I took a picture of the picture, so it was pretty blurry, and whenever I tried to focus on the face, if I made it too angular, like what my face is now, it looked too old. And if I tried to add baby fat, it just didn't look like me at all because I have a, a specific structure. And so that was a lot that I had to deal with. I ended up thinking it's really cute. It's not perfect, but I really like it. It was a great practice. And also I had a ton of hair. This year's self-portrait kind of surprised me because they went by really quickly and I think I did a pretty good job because I have very specific features. Like I have small eyes and I have hooded eyelids that kind of fold together so they make them look smaller and I have uh, kind of an odd nose and I love my nose so I tried to draw it and I, I think it came out really well. If you're wondering why I'm adding in this digital drawing, it's because last year, sort of around my birthday, but not really, I would say around August, I drew a meme that I found on Twitter and it was a goth girl having a birthday party. And it ended up being so good that I printed it out and I put it in my sketchbook. And I wanted to do it again this year, but around my birthday so that it was themed. And I found this picture of these dogs having a birthday party and I was like, that is perfect. So I thought why not kill two birds with one stone and do a digital practice time as well as my annual birthday portrait and now I ended up with two double page spreads which is what I am filming now. Another thing I like to do, which is probably something that you've noticed if you've watched my sketchbook flip throughs, is that I really like to write in my sketchbook, whether it's a note about the thing that I just drew or something that happened recently or just to practice my hand lettering with like a lyric or something so if it's something like a birthday or a holiday i like to give myself space to write about that which is what these are for i end up setting aside the drawing of myself so that i can put it between the self-portrait doodles of myself so that i can keep it on theme and then i keep the dogs on the other side and I sort of paint the other page in this like teal Posca pen color and I just sort of write about my birthday. Something I noticed while doing this spread is that because I am printing from home, the color isn't the quality that I want. So it's not as vibrant as I would like, which is why I don't really make and sell prints that I make at home. But for my sketchbook, it's, it's just enough and I really like the colors anyway. 
I also don't want to go too overboard and make it too bulky because I do want to save some of the photos from my birthday because I still have the ones from last year's birthday since I haven't done a junk journal in, in a while and I want to do one that's just themed around my birthday photos and so I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and save those for later. And you might have noticed from the other page and probably the intro that it is my 25th birthday, which means only one thing. Hey, Patrick. What? I thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. <laughs> That's right, I'm a child and I deserve a child's SpongeBob birthday party. I say birthday party as if I'm having a bouncy house and a clown and a birthday cake over, but really I'm probably just going to have a slice of cake and I'm going to watch cartoons because it is my 25th birthday party and I've been waiting for years to make that joke. That and the joke that I am no longer in Leonardo DiCaprio's um, dating pool, but that's more recent. Like I said before, I'm giving myself space to write right next to the drawing that I just made. And really, it's just me talking about my general feelings about turning 25 and what my next birthday plans are. I'm thinking Hobbit birthday party for next year because I like Hobbits and Pride and Prejudice birthday for the year after that for reasons I will not explain right now. So yeah, that's the end of my annual birthday drawing. I hope you liked it and thanks if you stuck around this long.